Hi everyone, this is Jeff from wificastle.com. In this video, we're going to talk about locking down your router to a certain number of wireless network cards. We've already set the data encryption and the passphrase for the router in an earlier video called Basic or Fast D-Link Security Setup. Now, you want to lock down the router even more by only allowing certain network cards to get on the network. Because network cards can be in USB connection, they can move from one computer to another. So you've got to remember that what we're doing here today is just telling the router what network cards can get in. This is good if you have a set number of computers on your network. It's not going to change and you want to lock this down even further. So you need to find the hardware address or the MAC address of your card and it looks something like this. You can find this on the back of your USB card. It's going to say MAC address or hardware address. You just want to write this down. This is, this is what it's going to look like. It's not going to be exactly this, but it's going to look like this. And once you gather all these numbers from all the network cards that you want to get on the router, then we'll build an access list and tell the router only these network cards can get in. So if you have an embedded wireless network card, so it's not USB, it's in your laptop, you have to run a command to find out what it is uh, if you don't have the documentation that tells you what your MAC address is. So what you need to do here to find the MAC address, this is a Windows 7 uh, operating system here. XP is going to be pretty much the same. Uh, you click Start and you click Run. If you can't find run because it's not sitting here, it's in all programs, accessories, run. You can type in CMD here, or you can type in command, the word command, but CMD obviously is faster. Click OK, command prompt is going to come up. This command right here, ipconfig, space dash all gives you a lot of information about all the network cards in your system. What you're looking for though is the hardware address. And I have a lot of adapters in this thing. So I mean, this is a virtual network card. What you're looking for is that something that's going to say wireless. Instead of Ethernet, it's going to say wireless Ethernet adapter. But it'll say wireless, so you'll be, you'll be tipped off. And then here's the physical address. Just like what we saw before, where I wrote down a notepad, this is the address that you want. It has to say wireless here, though. So you want to write that down. Once you have that, then we can build the access list. So in the router, you log in, you're at the same screen that you're always at when you log in. It's in the advanced section for the D-Link. And it's called Network Filter. When you click Network Filter, here it is, MAC Address Filter. And this is where you're going to put in the numbers that we talked about before. So here's one of my network cards. Here's if you turn it on or off. Right now it's turned off, so everybody that has the encryption key can get into the router. So we're going to change that now. And we're just going to turn it on, and we're going to allow computers listed to access the network. We're going to put in the MAC address. And here, you may have a computer name, you may not. This is what you do, and then you're going to hit Save. Once you put all your MAC addresses in for all your computers, of course these will be different, then you hit save, the router will reboot, and then it will only allow those network cards that are on this list to get in, regardless if they have the passphrase uh, for the encryption key that we set before. So there you go, that is, that's the uh, advanced security settings for the D-Link, locking down this baby by MAC address.
For more information, go to wificastle.com.